you know, to be still here and in the public eye, and 20 this, years old, and you're 20 years later, is I it think it is, not 20. 20 years since I've retired. Um, so to still, you know, you doing so it. many, well, thank you, <laughs> doing so many great things still. And um, yeah, I thought you'd just sort of get forgotten, but it's been great. Early days, but a new owners, new shareholders. So it's a consortium called Connect Airways. 30% Virgin Atlantic, 30% Stobart Group and Infrastructure mm -hmm. Group, with Stobart Air being part of the group and also a private equity for 40% uh, of uh, our shareholder structure. And uh, so a new consortium, uh, a new future, bright future for Flybe. We started off eight years ago in just one venue, uh, with two days. And eight years later, we're a five-day festival competition um, split across two venues. That's brilliant. So, yeah. And it's getting young, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, the adjudicators are all saying that the, you know, the heritage and culture is safe in their hands. So last October, um, I decided I would see if it was possible to prepare for this show on a plant-based diet, so vegan plant-based um, um, diet, so getting all my protein uh, and nutrition from plant-based sources. And, and it, was, it was really an experiment, uh, working quite closely with Johnny Fabrizio, he's, um, he was always worked quite closely with me in terms of my prep um, and fitness prep in particular for this show, um, to see if we could do it, to see was it possible to maintain enough muscle mass to get me to the show in good enough condition to compete with everybody else on the stage. Well, I have two young children and we love reading ABC books and I was really frustrated that there wasn't one about the Isle of Man on the bookshelves locally uh, and having had a look at what was available, a lot of the illustrations in the local books are hand-drawn or painted, so I, I had in my mind's eye this image of a book that was very visual, very picture-based with not so many words um, and in a very sort of modern digital style. I think it's excellent, yeah. It's both for the leisure um, traveller, which obviously, you know, I mean, if you're talking about um, international airports, then Heathrow is, is really is an A-list airport. Um, it serves every continent on the planet except Antarctica. So, so for connecting uh, onto um, uh, holidays long haul, it's, uh, it's absolutely excellent. So really what I'm looking at is for Timwood to make a, uh, a firm affirmation of its position right. around supporting the LGBTIQ plus community on the Isle of Man and further afield. And I think part of that has to be to look at those countries where they're actually regressing rather than progressing, such as we've seen in Brunei. And I'm asking them to condemn that through emotion, the behaviours and actions of the uh, government of Brunei to use actually religion wrongly because it's, it's very much about interpretation to achieve a, a political stance. Yeah, it is early sense is, um, is an innovation. Um, it's a product as many products we have in our portfolio. Um, and what is the unique feature of this product? It is detection of the patient's vital signs under the mattress. So this is a detector you put under the mattress, uh, under you know a thick mm. mattress and it detects uh, crucial vital signs, and new vital signs that never had been detected. Come on then, what's this all about? What's, what's the deal? Well, 21st of April, uh, first uh, flight back to uh, Heathrow after more than 20 years. Twen um, show me age, right. So, and, uh, and we are very happy because we think it will be a great opportunity for everybody flying to and from Isle of Man to have one stop to the world. I did the last uh, Heathrow to the Isle of Man with Manx Airlines in 2002. Uh, the very next day I did the first Isle of Man to Gatwick with Manx Airlines and back to the Isle of Man the uh, same day. So they were all the, the inaugurals and the last flight of the Heathrow. Um, I've done numerous other new inaugural flights. I did flybees from Edinburgh to Heathrow. I'm doing today's flybee down to Heathrow. I've done Euromanx's very first passenger. I have issue ticket number one. Uh, I did all their inaugurals to Dublin to Edinburgh. Uh, all in the same day, yeah, so I've got a few, few in the way. I've done Concord as well, so yeah, it has to be done.